just show you where I'm with the uh, Rubik's Cube uh, uh, solving uh, machine. Um, I was waiting on some uh, further servos, so I hadn't actually finished it off, but I've now got all the servos. So um, I've got the rotating, the gripper arm servos, and the uh, ones that push in and out. I've been uh, going through the instructions. I'm now running off the Palulu Maestro control um, center software just to get the settings right so I can now and I've also numbered up the various different uh, relay parts as per their instructions so it's easier to sort of follow what's going on uh, so we can now for example move the um, that's the bottom arm coming in and out you can move all of, all of those I've got set so the idea is to get them, uh, you make um, a note of all the various positions so they're flush. So for example, if we move seven, and that'll come flush with the, uh, it will be flush in there. So you just make a note of the, the software, which I'll show you in a second, the control software. Uh, number three, I've just got sitting back a bit too far, so that should just come down a little bit. Um, that is the, the neutral position, so where these are flush and these are at right angles effectively to the servos. The, um, the what they call the 90 degree position is when, the, when these um, gripper arms rotate. Now they've got to rotate in a, a specific way, like that will rotate this way round. So I'll show you how that one uh, has to rotate. If it goes, so just turn that one on, so that will rotate specifically like that it can't rotate the other way around so um, so it always knows it's going to turn the the, the uh, Rubik's Cube that way if you see what I mean all that way not not the other way um, the the top one has to rotate in a specific position again so number two has to go that way which is a as you're looking at it it would be but if you look it will be anti-clockwise as you're looking at it I suppose uh, number six again has to go let's just turn on number six has to go down like that and number eight has to go let's turn him on has to rotate that way around so if we put the, uh, the cube in there just as a this is still setting up, uh, just getting the, the, the rough, well, the sort of approximating positions right. So we can lift that up. So it's roughly in the right position. Number um, seven, number three will come down to grip it on the top. So it's, it's going to be sort of there somewhere. Uh, seven, number seven will come in. Sort of there roughly. Server number one would come in. And as I say, I'm still sort of checking how this will go. But once that's in that position, you can now actually rotate. Um, so the top one, see, I'm not quite, it's not quite lined up as, as you can see, but it does allow me to rotate that part of it. Number zero I can do, which would rotate around there. Eight. Just rotate the bottom bit. And as obviously I'm doing all this manually at the moment. And six. Is there. I'll just show you the software just for a second. So I'll just pan up. It's not the greatest picture of the of the screen I've got there, but you can see the software. So this is the um, Paluna Maestro software. It's it's very effective. It works first time. I mean, I downloaded it off their their website. Probably the hardest thing was to actually find where it was on their website. So I actually downloaded it off uh, the supplier's website, which was um, I bought it from Cool Components. Um, and they had it on their web, the, the software on the website, which was slightly easier to uh, find. That's the uh, the manual for it. But the actual program um, is USB connected to the little device, which I'll show you again in a minute. Um, it's got 11 uh, or 12 servos, 
uh, 0 to 11. Uh, you can just uh, enable them or disable them, and you've got open, uh, you know, a 0 to 90 degrees uh, or 0 to 180 degrees uh, throw on these and various um, different uh, target positions. Which, uh, which will be closed or open. So they're the positions I'm actually making note of. There's also acceleration on the uh, some of the servos which they ask you to add in. Um, but again, that's in the manual. I'll show you which ones they are actually. So for example, the ones we've got acceleration on are the zero, zero being the, the, the gripper arms, just to speed up the actual turning of the, uh, the, the grippers. So you can see some have got 110 on the those. Um, the, the numbers are 0, 2, 6 and 8, which are the, the even numbers, which are the grippers. And the way they've done it is 1, 3, 7 and 9 are the, are the, um, the, the, the actual arms that push in and out. Uh, so that's the, the software. It's, it's, uh, I think you can do quite a few different things with this. We're just, uh, well, I'm just using this um, uh, just to get the basic alignment um, sorted out with the, with the software. So you can just rotate the, uh, the, the servos to suit. But it's actually quite a nice little... Um, um, server control program for just setting up servers with so it's, it's uh, quick and easy um, it was effortless to install um, the computer recognized it and it just worked pretty much first time so it's, it's good stuff okay just back to the um, I'll just pan back again well that's just back looking at the uh, the unit just uh, turn it around a bit I've got the cables on just uh, loosely at, at the back as you can see this is the Palula the little device there. It's just a tiny little uh, system. The idea is that will actually stick on on the back there, which I haven't actually fitted on at the moment, but uh, it will go on. There's power goes into this, which are the last two pins at the back there. I've just got this running off a small power supply, power pack. So, which is independent of the USB. So the USB cable plugged in there is just powering the, the uh, electronic circuit and the control side of it. Uh, the power is just literally going to the, um, the servos. You can actually change it um, if you wire, um, I think there's power pins down there, you can wire off that power supply. So it can be self-contained, but um, for, the, for the purpose of this. Um, power pack I've got is just a small um, a desktop uh, power supply, computer type pack, which is six, uh, six uh, volts. Um, five amps. They so said the minimum one is about three amps. So I've just gone for a slightly, slightly beefy one, but it's not actually going to draw much because it's only really using um, one servo pretty much at any one time. So it's uh, it's not going to. They're not going to all be on simultaneously. So it's not going to draw that much much power. Um, that's I've, as I said. That's pretty much all now screwed together. I haven't quite got the right screw, so they're you know, sticking out a bit. But they are. Um, and I've got to just tidy up this cabling. The camera unit I've got in there is the one they originally, if you can see it in there, it's the one they originally recommended just sitting in there. Um, they've now got a new version uh, that they recommend to use, but I bought that and I've already printed that, so I'm going to see um, if I can, um, it, you know, this, see if this, how good this camera is. If I still have problems, I'll uh, upgrade to the other camera and use that on something else, but uh, hopefully I can get away with that camera for the time being. So that's the uh, that's as far as I've got with it with the Paluda software. It's just the USB cable for the camera. So the next stage I'm going to do um, now I've got to sort of pretty much set uh, and made a note of various settings: um, the maximum in, maximum out, reset, um, 90 degree settings, and everything uh, via the Paluda is um, Otvinter software program which I'm going to do now which I haven't actually loaded up um, and I think there's a free 30 day um, uh, that you can use it for and after that it's $40 personal use for I assume a lifetime uh, which it is which is not bad I suppose $40 because I mean that's not pretty much uh, more than the couple of cost of a couple of servos so um, I know some people sort of think it should be free but there's quite a bit of work gone into that so everything else is free you can always program it up yourself if you want so I'm gonna download the the, uh, the free version for the minute just to get going uh, register it later you can run it off uh, Raspberry Pi which I probably uh, will do in the future but just to see how it goes that's it for the moment <laughs>